The Tulsa Police Department is a little despondent. For the longest time, they prided themselves in their ability to use their vehicles as weapons. You see, we don't have a whole lot of violent protests here in Oklahoma, and uh, I wonder why that is. Whatever the case, the police in Fort Lupton, Colorado, have upped the ante. They have found a way to use their police cars in a way that nobody would have thought of. They're putting their suspects in the car and letting the cars get hit by a train. Today, we're going to talk about the pluses and minuses of such a strategy. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Okay, so the lady in the truck is being pulled over because of a road rage incident. Apparently, she flashed a gun at somebody or maybe even fired a shot at them. Whatever the case, pretty serious incident, and they're going to pull her over. But uh, watch where they actually stop the police vehicle. Now, do you see where it says railroad crossing? And on the other side, it says railroad crossing. And, and by golly, it looks like there are train tracks running across right there. And so, where is the best place to park your police vehicle? Right on the train tracks. I'm right behind you, Vasquez. Yep, right on the train tracks. No mistake in it. I mean, you can tell that those are train tracks. I'm going to your passenger side. And they got a lot of bugs out there. Dispatch left in 346, one at gunpoint. Driver, let me see your hand. Good grief, look at all the tattoos. What, did she just escape from the women's prison? Let me see your hands. She's got something written on her arm there. If she paid more than 10 bucks for that tattoo, she got ripped off. It's just a blurry mess. Hey, special up to We're giving commands. Her hands are out the window at this time. So they're treating this as a felony stop, so it's a pretty serious incident. So far, no problem. Now that will change here shortly. Hey! Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around! Put your hands up higher. The suspect is being cooperative. It turns out that ain't gonna make a lick of difference. I want you to set your phone down on the edge of your truck. You don't need it. You can leave it on. Come on back. Keep coming back. Keep your hands up. Keep coming. What the hell does that say? Empress? I don't know. Why in the hell do they do this to themselves? I'm rooting for the suspect at this point. Keep coming back. Keep coming back to the sound of my voice. Keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. Stop right there. Get down on one knee and then the other. I got cuffs. Go ahead. Good? Go. Keep your hands above your head. Don't move. What's going on? Oh, we're going to get you into a police car and have a train run over you. I'm in here. We'll explain everything in a second. Yeah, we'll explain to you in a moment that we're going to put you in the back of a police car and have a train run over you. Can I get my Most cell phone, please? No one else is in the truck, sir. Can I please get my cell phone? We'll get it for you. Don't worry about your cell phone. Where are you taking me? We're taking you to the car. Come on. Why? What? 
you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? No, ma'am, but can I please get my cell phone? We'll get your cell phone in a second. Is there any weapons in the car? No, ma'am. Welcome to your coffin. Actually, she didn't die in this incident, so we can sort of make fun of it. Although she got really badly hurt. You'll see. There's no weapons in the car? Okay. What's going on? Ma'am, what's going on? I'll tell you in a second. I'm so confused. Why don't you just tell her what the hell's going on? If you're pulling her over for a road rage incident, just tell her. When did this shit start where, no, we're not going to explain to you why we're putting you in the back of a police car? Take, Take a, a seat. seat. I will get your cell phone for you. Take a seat. Yeah. Take a seat in the police car. <laughs> I got your right shoulder. I see a car seat. Dude, do you really need a semi-automatic rifle? I can't tell if that's an M4 or, or an AR-15, but um, you're clearing out a car or a truck at very close range. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a long rifle is a good choice here. Clear. Okay, let's get the bed. Are you expecting a whole bunch of cartel members to come flooding out of the truck and attacking you? They must not get a lot of excitement in Fort Lupton. Yeah, you drop it. I'll hold it. I'll come across. Clear. Make sure that you train that semi-automatic rifle on that pickup bed because you don't know if there are 30 ninja assassins hiding under there and when you open up the tailgate, they're going to come flooding out. It was a road rage incident. The woman is in handcuffs. She's in the back of the police car. Unfortunately. What the hell are you so scared of? Dispatch looking 348, vehicles clear, you can use the channel. time to pull over. I got a holster right here in the passenger seat. It took a long time for her to pull over. <laughs> it should have taken longer. I'm going to put my rifle away and I'll come back Alright. She could have because when I was behind her, she was driving slow enough. Yeah. So she could have tossed something, but I literally... Tossed it out the window? She could have, out that window, but... Who is, is that heart? Hey, what's that sound? I've heard that before somewhere. Yeah, it was in a recent movie. It was a train. No, that's a... Yeah, that does sound very much like a train. Let me see here. Train tracks? Train? Police vehicle sitting on the train tracks with suspect in the back seat. Hmm. Now we have another view. Why that one officer's body cam shut off, I don't know. Very convenient. But I think she probably started yelling some expletives. Move your car! Yep, that's a train, all right. Stay back! The cop yells, stay back, stay back. Now, wait a second. I don't know if we captured the essence of that event. I think that what we're going to have to do is go back and play it and put in some sound effects. And you know what they're thinking? 
God, please let her be dead. Please let her be dead. Or it's Lawsuit City. Guess what? It's going to be Lawsuit City. In this case here, you just show the jury the video. I see a lot of littering there. Hmm, I wonder if they're going to get written up for that. Oh, and by the way, uh, the train conductor is probably in a lot of trouble here. Um, he obstructed justice, you know, by hitting the car. And he destroyed government property. There it is. What's left of the police vehicle? Once again, we're missing the sound effects. Let's play this again. So the fire truck has showed up and they're still looking for the weapon because that's what's really important here. You got it? I got a holster here. No, yeah. we have not gone through we it. Weren't, we weren't sure if she threw it or if it's still hidden in the vehicle somewhere. It took her a long time to pull over and Platteville said he did not see anything leave the vehicle. Right now I just need to find out who she is so we can do it. Well, let me spell it out for you guys. When you took her into custody, you took responsibility for her safety. And uh, putting her in the back of an SUV that's sitting on the railroad tracks probably wasn't the best way to do that. But hell, who am I to say? Now the Tulsa Police Department's thinking like, we can't top this. I mean, running over suspects as they're trying to flee is, is one thing, but, but damn, I mean, this is just too much. So what do you do? How can you beat this? Uh, I don't know. At any rate, the woman uh, didn't die. She got really badly busted up, though. A bunch of broken ribs. I think she has a broken sternum. Probably won't be sleeping easy for a while, and... I think crossing railroad tracks from this point on in her life will bring on spats of PTSD. And so what is the benefit of this? Well, you know, you're not using up any ammunition, so that's good, and there's no chance of ricochets. So putting the person in the back of the car, well, I don't know. Seems a little harsh to me, though, but what do I know? Like my video and subscribe to my channel and tell me what you think of this strategy.